All right, so this is the part of the video where I would normally talk about how the day's going, explain what we're going to try to accomplish for the day, and just stage the video. But sadly, I lost pretty much all the audio for this day due to some sort of technical issue with my camera, and I was not aware of it until, well, just before shooting this video. That said, I just ask that you please bear with me, as this is the first time I'm doing a voiceover for one of my videos. Now up to this point, we've had the foundation put in. In the last video, we put up all the walls. And at this point, that's all I'm doing is recapping that we put up all the verticals, we put up all the horizontal braces, and I'm showing where I put in and installed my corner posts. Something to note when installing these corner posts is that they can't get perfectly into the corners due to the bolt heads and the nuts that come out from those braces. So as you put them in, you kind of have to choose if you do it this way to either put them against the back wall flush or against the sides flush. And on the front and the rear, I chose to keep them against the sides flush because I anticipated putting up a second post in between those two on the side. At this point, we've got the gables up, and this is a pretty easy install. There's just one nut and bolt through the top pieces and the bottom pieces. This was easy to do by yourself, not a big deal here. This rear gable here was just a touch more of a challenge, only because you had to join on those brackets that meet with the cross brace there. Again, not too much of a deal, but it would have helped having an extra pair of hands there. I've watched this part several times and I have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about here. So it probably wasn't that important and I'm clearly just continuing to ramble so I'll spare you the rest of this clip. At this point I'm getting ready to put up the ridge board and I'm struggling to figure out how I was going to do that by myself because I really needed some help but I didn't want to wait because I'm an impatient person. So at this point, what I decided to do is I put a two before across the top there. So, and this is so that I can rest the ridge board on one side while I fasten it on the other side. There's only four you know, nuts and bolts that actually hold that on, two on either end. So resting it on one side while I put it up on the other side uh, was my next best option, other than having a second pair of hands. At this point, I had already tested my theory and was able to successfully get it installed on that one side while resting it. The good thing about the aluminum is that it's flexible enough that you could you know, flex it to let it lean like that without it actually bending and creasing. Uh, and with it being light enough, I was able to do this part by myself. That said, I would highly recommend having an extra pair of hands for this, but if you were in a pinch, uh, the board across there worked pretty well. Uh, I would definitely do the rear first and then attach the front because the rear seemed to have a little more flex than that front did. And I was worried about bending, like actually creasing and bending the front. So what I didn't catch on film was me doing a little trial and error with that. Now at this point, all I'm doing is going back and tightening up all the bolts. As I've said before, you don't want to over tighten anything too early just finger tight just get it snug so that it holds and then as you're moving along you can go through and actually tighten stuff down so I got everything aligned where I thought it needed to be and this was just me going back and making sure that all of my nuts and bolts on my uprights and on the eaves and everything were tight and this was just more of me rambling probably talking about some of the challenges I may have had or something else. I'm not really sure, but again, I'll spare you the boredom. At this point, I'm just getting ready to install the roof. Now this goes exactly like the sides did. You put in each of the pieces. I wrap tape around each of the aluminum pieces, slide the bolts down into that so that they're aligned for your cross braces for the roof and for your supports for the windows that eventually go in and the install is the same as the walls, it's just up on the roof instead. Now, one thing that I would note in advance here is there isn't any real 
support keeping this from shifting front to rear. So you don't want to tighten these down too soon because the, one of the next steps can be putting in the windows. I would also advise that if you're going to add automatic vent openers that you go ahead and have those ready to go when you're doing the roof and installing the windows. The reason for this is I found there was a basically a necessity to reinforcing those windows which I'll eventually show you guys. And what that actually boils down to is, is you might have to take some of these loose to slide in longer bolts, which I had to do. At this point, I'm using the same trick I used whenever I put up the ridge board, and that is, is I'm putting up the brace pieces now that run across front to rear. And I'm using the bridge board just to keep them supported as I run through and add these to the bolts that we slid into the tracks earlier. Now this part actually makes me sad that I lost the audio because my wife and my youngest came out to say hi and see how we were doing and she got super excited to see me and it's just uh, unfortunate not to have that audio but I'm keeping this in because it's a sweet moment and if you don't like it I'm sorry about it. At this point, I'm just getting back to adding those cross braces. These go in exactly like the sides did, so pay close attention to which one goes on top and which one goes on the bottom, because I'm pretty sure later in this, I actually realized that, and I had to go back and take all of them loose and realign them because they were not straight. So just pay really close attention to the positioning of those cross braces. Here we're getting ready to work on the install of the windows, but first I'm covering the assembly and how these kind of go together. The Honestly, the hardest thing to assemble was both the windows and I later find out that it was the doors. And these windows are really flimsy. I've not come up with a great way to reinforce the window itself yet, but that is something to consider doing before installing them if you have an idea. Now, one of the things that actually did help was adding that aluminum tape. That helped strengthen these windows, I found, but it also made them much harder to assemble as they did not want to slide into the tight-fitting track. So unlike the panels on the sides of the roof, these actually fit tightly into a track, and it was really hard to get those in there with that aluminum tape. Here I'm just showing the aftermath of the installed windows. It was really hard to capture any quality video showing that. But this is where it would have come into play about keeping everything square where that front and rear kind of shift and making sure that you can get everything lined up straight and the windows open and close freely before you tighten everything down. At this point in the video, I'm just doing my normal recap and rambling about what we've done for the day and also outlining a few of the things that were a challenge with that roof assembly but in this video we finished building the roof got everything kind of in there and square we also got everything tightened up so at this point you know if you enjoyed this video I appreciate it I know this is a little bit of a challenge a little different than most of my videos since I lost the audio but hopefully you still found it useful, and if you did, I appreciate you coming back and checking out the rest of our uh, series, and hopefully we don't have any more issues with audio. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.